Hi everybody, I'm Jeff from Missouri Wind and Solar and uh, a lot of people worry about their system getting hit by lightning and the question is should I have my inverter grounded to earth and my battery bank and the, and the answer is yes. Now on all these inverters, most of them have an earth ground and you'll see the ground plate, uh, the uh, screw to put a ground wire on. And we've already driven a stake out back and I'll show you how to ground it. Now on the battery bank, here's our ground wire. We came off the negative of the battery bank and it's going out to our ground stake. So I can show you how that is. Okay, now there's two ways to ground your inverter in the battery bank. You can put a bus bar on the wall and hook your grounds to the bus bar, then come off the bus bar and go outside to your grounding rod. That's one way. We just come right off the battery bank with a six gauge copper wire to our ground bar outdoors and the same thing off from our inverter. Now I'll go outside and show you what that looks like. Okay, now here we're outside. This is a ground rod and this rod is eight feet long and they come in uh, half and five-eighths and I believe this is a five-eighths rod and it's copper coated on the outside. And this screw down here, that's the clamp. This is a brass clamp with a stainless steel screw and your ground wire just goes up into the clamp and you tighten it down real good. Now, I, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be solid like number six wire uh, for your grounding, but we're just using our, our welding cable for ground right now. So I don't want no electricians coming unglued on me. It should be a solid strand, I believe. So anyway, this is an eight foot rod. We haven't driven it all the way down in the ground yet and we're gonna leave it sticking out of the ground about this far so you don't run over it with a lawnmower like that. And it's pretty simple, nothing to it. Now, you can get these in any lumber yard, any hardware, and they're not too expensive. And the clamps for the rods should be right with the rods, but you just ask and they'll give you a clamp. And a nice little stainless steel. You can see what it looks like. And don't put your uh, wire on the screw side. Put it on the other side like this and then just tighten that damn thing down real good. Well, we're not, I'm not going to really tighten this down because we have to finish driving this down in the ground. And uh, that's about it. I'm Jeff from Missouri Wind and Solar. Thanks for watching.